Hi there, have you ever offended someone without meaning to? Would you like to learn more about netiquette and get some tips on how to successfully moderate online courses? If these questions speak to you, keep watching. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Learning Together with Robert. If this is your first time visiting me, thank you for being here. And if you're back, then Thank you very much for your support because without it and without you, this wouldn't make any sense. If you haven't subscribed, why not do it now and give us a like? I'm Robert Martinez and I have been an English teacher since 1994 and a teacher educator and language assessment specialist for almost 20 years now. It's been an incredible journey having lived and worked in nine different countries. I'm a CELTA tutor and assessor, online moderator, and tutor on the IHCYLT course, teaching English to young learners and teenagers, and I enjoy being in the classroom both face-to-face -face and online. If you want to know more about my professional background, experience, and qualifications, I've put a link to my LinkedIn profile and a link to a video cartoon version of my CV to jazz things up in the description box below, so feel free to check them out. Today, I want to share the next three top tips in a series of short methodology pills for you, so don't forget to subscribe. You don't want to miss any of them. And before you go, give us a like. So here we go. Tip number seven, adhere to deadlines. Most online courses will work around units and completion expectations are pretty standard for most courses, whether they're face-to-face -face or online. Make sure you complete units within the deadline set within the course timetable. And if you're not 100% sure about when these are, then contact your peers and tutor as soon as possible. Possible. Add these to your calendar so that you know when to complete work by. Be organized. That's the key. Plan to do a little every day rather than leaving everything until the end. This gives you time to have an effective learning dialogue with your peers and your colleagues and your tutor, and you can get and make the most out of your course. Most effective online courses will expect you to engage not only with the content, but most importantly, with your peers and your tutors and all those colleagues conversations is what we really look for. If you leave it until the deadline, you will have missed all the learning happening in the forums and all the exciting conversations. This is a big part of online learning and it takes place in the forums when we share ideas and different points of view. Tip number eight, complete work in order. Most online courses will have some sort of review unit where you are to reflect on your learning journey and study period that is coming to an end. Make sure you answer the questions posed there after completing all the different parts of the unit and not before. I know this sounds logical, but I've been on courses where participants would complete the review unit before attempting the previous task. What doesn't make sense? I agree. This is important as it is evidence that you took the time to read and consider the questions by providing uninformed answer. And the last one, Tip number nine, do participate actively. If your tutors don't see you online, they can't evaluate your performance. Even if most platforms have a tracking system for activity completion and time spent on screen, what really counts is your participation in the forums. All those discussions which allow you to share your ideas and learn from others along with the collaborative tasks that you're likely to have to do outside the forum. So all that activity is what we're looking for because that's what is going to be the practical side of it. Okay, so these are my three top tips for today. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments box. If you missed the previous videos covering tips one through six, do check the videos at the end. If you want to share any tips, just put them in the comments below and maybe I'll include them in the next video. That would be exciting. And remember, learning is fun and you don't have to do it alone. So let's do it together with Robert.